Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my October favorites and fails. I hope you guys had a wonderful Halloween. I didn't do much. I just stayed home with my husband, kind of relaxed. I was really, really tired and had to work the next day. So I just stayed in, didn't get dressed up or anything like that. But I hope you guys had an amazing Halloween and I cannot believe it's already November. Um, November 1st, the weather cooled down a lot here in Arizona. So it's actually really beautiful outside right now. I have lots of errands to run, so I'm really happy that it's cooled off a little bit. I don't like the really cold weather, but I do like when it cools off just a little. This video is my October favorites and fails. Now, I have done my weekly favorites, which I usually always do during the months, and I did not want to mention any of the same products that I've already mentioned in those videos. So if you haven't checked out my weekly favorites, I will link them down below in the description box. I actually call them my weekly loves and letdowns videos. So I will link those all down below. Some of the products in those videos are still absolute favorites for the month for the month of October, but I did not want to re-mention them. I didn't want to be redundant, plus I didn't want this video to be too long. I want to kind of get straight to the point and talk about products that I have been loving through the month of October that I haven't already mentioned. So with that being said, um, first are some hair products from Agave, and if you guys know me, you know that I love Agave products. They're amazing. They smell heavenly. I mean, seriously, you guys, if you have not tried Agave, you should go into Sephora and just smell them. They smell divine. It smells like honey nectar or something like that. I don't even know if that's an accurate description, but that's kind of what comes to mind when I think of these products. I have talked about some of their products before, not these two particular ones, but I've talked about their oil serum for the hair, that's amazing, shampoo and conditioner, amazing. So these two items are newer to my collection. I think they are divine, I love them both. So this first product is the Revitalizing Shine Spray. This stuff is amazing for my hair. I'm just gonna read to you what it says on the back. It says, a lightweight a micro mist shine spray infused with healing agave plant sugars creates brilliance, hydration, and shine. So it says, spray lightly about eight to 10 inches away from dry hair and let it air dry. So not only do I love applying this to my dry hair to give it some shine and make it soft and eliminate frizz, but I also love to spray this in my hair when I get out of the shower and my hair is very tangly because my hair is kind of wavy and curly and some of it's coarse, not all of it. It's like I have kind of fine and coarse hair mixed together, but it can be very tangly. So with that being said, I love spraying this in my damp hair. It really makes my hair extremely soft and very easy to comb through. So I love it for that and also to apply to my dry hair to give it some more shine. So this is an amazing product. Again, it smells, oh, it smells so good. It kind of lingers in your hair throughout the day and you just smell that honey nectar or whatever it is. I know it's the agave plant, but I just describe it as like a honey nectar. I don't even know. You have to go to Sephora and smell it. It seriously smells so good. Okay, the next thing is this agave. This is the restorative hydrating mask. And this is an intense reconditioning treatment loaded with agave plant sugars, strengthens, hydrates, and smooths hair, smooths dry, damaged, frizzy hair. So it says to apply to damp or towel dried hair and comb through, leave, in, leave on for five minutes, rinse, use one to two times per week as needed. So I really love this because my hair has gone through a lot <laughs> this past couple months. So if you guys have watched my hair video, my hair fail slash new color, so I talked about how I dyed my hair, hated the color, stripped the color out and re-dyed it. So my hair definitely needs all the added hydration that it can get. So this has been perfect for me. Um, I've been using it for the last couple weeks. It's amazing. I love it and definitely recommend you guys check it out. Oh, it just smells so good. I can't even get over the smell. So it's just like a cream and it's a, like a leave-in conditioner. You leave it in, rinse it out. I've been using mine about two times a week. Um, I just put it on my damp hair, comb it through, let it sit. I even used it last night and I actually let it sit overnight and then rinsed it out this morning. I don't always do that, but I do sometimes if I feel like I need the extra moisture. But I love those two products by Agave. I think they're amazing. All right, next let's move on to like a body wash that I've been loving. This is the Kirkland Body Wash and it has a natural citrus scent, but contains 100% pure plant extracts. It's rich in antioxidants, moisturizes, and softens skin. I love this because one, it has a pump. Two, it smells like citrus, but it's not like overpowering citrus. Like it's kind of like a sweet citrus. It just smells really refreshing. I love this. You can buy it at Costco. It comes in a set of two. I don't remember the price of these, maybe like $9.99 for two, but they're pretty big. They'll last you a while. 
I just really, really love the way this smells. It smells so good. It does make my skin really soft. And not only that, it has 100% pure plant extracts. Oh, I also love this because it has no parabens, no sulfates, no animal testing, and it's gluten-free. So I love this. Costco, love it. It's amazing stuff. Next is an eye makeup remover. This is by Sephora. This is the waterproof eye makeup remover. And mine is just about gone. I've been using this all month long and I really do like it. I don't know that I would purchase the full size because I love my Neutrogena, Neutrogena um, eye makeup remover. That one's amazing. It's a little bit less expensive than this one, but this one from Sephora is amazing. And it doesn't feel as greasy as the one from Neutrogena, even though that's oil free. Um, it still feels like it's oily. So um, this is amazing. It really does remove my makeup well, and I do really like it and recommend it. I don't, don't get me wrong. I do recommend it. I just, I use my Neutrogena one. It's a little bit less expensive, you know. For nail polish this month, I loved this color right here. This is by Milani. It's the Milani Nail Lacquer, and this one's called Heather, and it's just this beautiful mauve purple. Oh, it is so pretty. I used this earlier in the month, and I just love this color so much. It's like probably one of my top nail polish colors. I just love it. Um, you guys know I love purples, but um, I don't know if you could still find this because it's one of their old nail polishes. I don't know, you might still be able to find it maybe on Amazon or eBay or something, but it's just a beautiful color. It's very opaque, goes on very, it goes on very opaque. Um, you just need, I usually do two coats even if it's opaque. So I do two coats of this. I think it's pretty long lasting and I didn't have any problems with chipping. I think this formula is better than their new formula of the color statement nail polishes. Those always chip on me really bad. So I wanna talk about a couple lip products that I have been loving. First is this NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil, and this one's in Pecan or Pecan. Um, it's just a beautiful, like, mauve nude. Oh, it is gorgeous. I love this. It's very pigmented, very creamy and moisturizing on the lips. It's just perfection, it really is. Um, the only thing is I don't really like the packaging on these. I find it to be very messy. The caps on these tend to crack and I just have like lipstick kind of smudged all around it. But it's such a beautiful color. I love it so much. I kind of pulled it out of my stash. I remembered that I had loved this in the past and that's so why I pulled it back out and I have been loving it ever since. Um, highly recommend that. It's very affordable. It's by NYX and it feels really good on the lips too. And it's just a beautiful nude shade. I actually was wearing that in one of my videos this past month and I can't remember which one it was, but you guys were asking me what was on my lips and it was that. Another nude product is this. This is by Lorac. This is the Lorac Pro Matte Lip Color. And this one's in pink taupe. And the color is at the bottom. And I like these because you twist them up. Packaging is much more ideal. And it's just a beautiful pinky, pinky nude, mobby nude, pinky nude, taupey pink. <laughs> it's called pink taupe. But that's what it looks like. Um, really pretty color. It's matte. These smell, oh, they smell so good. They smell like vanilla. They smell like a MAC lipstick. And I feel like I got some on my face. No. But these smell like vanilla. They smell so, so good. Um, but I've been loving this. I've been throwing this in my purse, and it's just like perfect to throw in your purse. I actually like this kind of packaging better than like a traditional lipstick. I just find that it's like easy because I can almost outline my lips with it and also then fill them in. And it's nice because it, it twists up and then back down. It's not messy. It snaps on the cap. You don't have to worry about the cap falling off. Um, let me just show you the difference between the two colors of the one I just showed you. So this is the NYX one in Pecan, and then that one is the one from Lorac. So beautiful colors. I love those both this month. I use them a ton. Um, and kind of threw those in my makeup bag and threw those in my purse to touch up at work. Next are a couple candles that I've been loving. This one is from Walmart. It is by the brand Walnut Avenue, and this particular scent is called Spice Market. I think this might have been about $5 or less, I can't remember. It is made in the USA. Um, whoa, it says lead-free wick. Um, okay, so it smells really good. It's like a perfect scent for small. It kind of has that spicy, not cinnamon, because I really don't like cinnamon scented candles. Those really give me a headache. It kind of just has like a spice scent to it. I don't know, kind of like, um just a fall spicy scent. I don't know how to describe it. 
It smells really good. Now I do have to be sensitive with this scent because as you guys know, I'm very sensitive to smells. A lot of scents can give me migraines. Um, this can definitely give me a migraine quick if I burn it too long, but if I burn it for short periods of time, it's fine, but it just really makes my house smell so yummy. Um, just smells like fall and it makes me want to snuggle under a blanket by the fire or something. So the other one is not a fall scent, but I love this all year round and it is from Walmart as well. And this is the Mainstays um, candle brand. And this is it just in the scent vanilla. It smells so good. This is probably like one of my favorite scents is vanilla. It's just kind of basic. It's sweet. I prefer sweet scents um, all year round. I just really love them. Oh, just kind of like bakery scents, sugared smells, stuff like that. Um, it's kind of burning funny. And it started to burn around the rim there. Um, I don't know why. I think because I had the fan going and it was burning. It was blowing the flame towards the side of the candle. But oh, I've used a ton of it, as you can see. It smells amazing. I just love this one. And I think this one was like $3 or something like that. I got it a long time ago. I did have two fails this month um, that I actually don't have because I've already returned them, but I did want to mention them really quick. The first one is the Too Faced Sugar and Spice Palette from Ulta. Um, I did a full review on that. I will link that video down below. I just did not love that palette for the price. It was $39 and I just felt like the colors were very dupable and they just didn't wow me. I was like underwhelmed with that palette. So I returned it to Ulta. So the second product that I returned was the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Powder or Illuminator Highlighter in Champagne Gold. It's a limited edition color. I purchased it when it first came out on the website and I was like, oh my god, I have to have it. I have to have all the Becca highlighters except for the really dark one that they have in Topaz because that one's too dark for my complexion. But I do have the other two. No, I have three of them. I have like the Rose Gold and the moonstone and the opal those are all amazing i love them so when the limited edition one came out in champagne gold i was like oh my gosh i have to have it and i kind of had this vision of how i thought it would be but when i got it in the mail and i opened it i was like wow this is extremely gold like straight gold highlight and i knew that it wasn't going to work for me I actually showed it in my Ulta haul video. If you guys haven't seen that, I will link it down below as well. But I showed it in that video and it's just it's just way too gold for my complexion. So for the price, I had to return it because I knew that I wouldn't use it. So I was a little bit disappointed with that because I was hoping that it was going to be a really light champagne gold, but it was actually like straight up gold and it just wasn't going to work for my complexion. So I did return that. So those were my two fails for the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what some of your favorites and fails were. I would love to know. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.